This time on Woody's Garage, a Dickens classic, a tale of two Husqvarna's. Well, looky here. We have another uh, lawnmower. There was a freebie on Craigslist. This is a Husqvarna. It has a bag. The bag's outside. I brought it in because uh, it was snowing mid-April in Massachusetts. And it's like 38 right now and raining and windy out. So I brought it in because I'm bored and I figured, guess what? It's going to be another carburetor clean anyway. Because that's what the guy said was basically wrong with it. It won't start. Uh, you'll notice on this one, compared to the last one I worked on, it actually says Honda on the overhead valve cover. And that's why I'm suspicious about ones that uh, say they're Honda, but they're not marked with anything that says Honda on them. Anyway, uh, this one has gas in it. It's another push lawnmower. It's a seven horsepower. Uh, it's got gas in it right now. But uh, like I said, I mean, the, the thing to do is just, you know it's going to be the carburetor. So I think we'll attack that. Wow, have you ever seen a worse air filter in your life? This guy was, uh, when I went to pick it up, he was like, oh, well, look at that. He was like such a zero personality. There it is here. Let's put it on a truck. Bye. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll start off with it. I guess we need a new air filter. Yeah, this one's got only two screws holding this thing on very large this one will probably be more difficult to put on than the other one because I know this holds the carburetor in place too all right hmm kind of shouldered screws I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, the breather hose doesn't want to pop off. <laughs> Lovely. Um, hmm. Pine needles. All sorts of junk in the way. Okay, I know I'm bumping into the camera too. All right, um, got to get the gas line off, got to get this hose off. And then I'll come back to you once you get a little clearer view there. Yeah, all right, you might as well watch. You know, I'd much prefer to do this outside, but like I said, it's raining out there. There goes a gasket. We'll need that. <clears throat> I'll get this gas hose off. A little difficult to see the linkage. This is oh, this has the automatic choke, and I know those go bad. So I always try to get ones that I don't have to put any money into because I don't have any money to throw at them, or it's not you know profitable to. When you sell them for cheap. Ugh. Yeah, just rip that off. Okay, get a glimpse at the, at the linkage here. Ah, uh -huh. oh, everything's going haywire. Okay, we'll put that back in up there. Then we'll get these guys out. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. I'm one of those guys, let me see if I can see if you can see what I'm doing. That like just can't wear gloves. There it be. Yeah, there's no drain on this one either. So we'll um curious to see what comes out of it though. Oh, 
yeah, no. Got to put that in the vise. Okay, that's what drained out. You can kind of see that amoeba looking shape there. That's all water. Inside the carb, surprisingly not too bad looking. I looked into the light into that uh, main jet there and I saw nothing coming through. So that's probably clogged, although it doesn't look too bad, does it? Oh, uh, that's the bowl. That's not too corroded either. Much better materials than the, uh, the cheap uh, knockoff replacement carbs. So I'd like to use this if I can rather than get another carb. But that's not even the case at this moment. Another little sample out of uh, the gas tank and see what it looks like. Well, that looks pretty clear. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that gas doesn't look too bad at all. All right, a little better place. Got to clean up the outsides of this. I'll actually put the bowl back on. There's so much crap on this. Just use a toothbrush. Um, I'll get back to you. Yeah, I like to use uh, like brake cleaner and car cleaner as little as possible. I swear that stuff is not good for you. Let's take out that uh, that main jet. Uh, I had one screwdriver that fits right in here nice. I don't think this is it. No, it's not. Yeah, this one's more like it. <clears throat> it's pretty little PB blaster in there just to make get it loose in case it wasn't. Get out, get out, get out. Yeah. Well, that's not entirely plugged. It doesn't look uh, totally clear either, but um, yeah. But that in combination with water in the bowl. I'm going to get the emulsion tube out that's right inside there. I'll get it out of there. But might as well take the bowl off. It's rattling all over the plate. The uh, float off, I mean. Yeah. I mean, it looks really clean. Mm. That's the emulsion tube if you can see it in there. Sometimes it just needs a little nudge like that. To get it going. <laughs> it's still kind of stuck in there. I'll get it out of there. Yeah, I'm trying to get the emulsion tube out. I don't think I had it framed up before. And there it be. You can see the longer end goes in up top. These on my Honda motorcycles look exactly the same. It looks fairly clear too. We got the needle valve, and that's rubber tipped, 
so I don't really like to put that in the um, the brake cleaner. It floats plastic, but it'll take it. Here's the main jet. You just go through every orifice you can find. And it's good if it shoots out someplace. If it shoots out someplace, you know it's good. Mention how much I hate this stuff. The back of this choke was completely black from that horrible air filter. Yeah, I bet this uh, machine is a. Uh, subject to like no maintenance. I can't wait to see what the oil looks like in it. Let's open this guy up right here and that's just a screw that covers like a hole but there's a passageway in there. Oh that's not moving. Pretty pointy screwdriver. Let me try something with a better tip. This one's a little more blunt. Jeez, I can't get that thing out. Well, I don't recommend this, but I put it in the vise and got it with the impact driver. That's pretty careful though. Of course it's pretty unsatisfying when you look in there because there's uh, nothing you can do but spray and the spray always kind of comes back in your face. So you don't know if you did anything. Okay, I sprayed everything through. I'm gonna take compressed air. If you want to watch that, I'll do that. Uh, choke parts. It's a little bit of a mystery to me. I'm not really sure how these work. Hopefully we can figure it out. And gunked up. Yeah, covers and stuff are a complete mess. Those look like they've been burnt a little bit. They didn't clean up too bad. You know, I've often wondered, is this the same size as the uh, Tecumseh and Briggs air filters? Because I got some of those. Yeah, I think the answer is yes. I put this and I put the cover on it too and it fit. I actually bought a Honda air filter set up once that did not fit. So this is a Briggs Stenz 102.549. So apparently it fits in uh, this engine, which is, I think, a Honda 7. The sticker fell off of it, so I'm not even sure. Uh, I'll try to figure out a way to uh, reattach that on there. Maybe melt it. I don't know. Maybe just leave it. Don't know right now. But at least we can throw this thing away. It's your last look at the world's worst air filter. <laughs> 
See ya. Molson tube in, long side up. It's going in the main jet. I took a uh, Q-tip and went in and, and cleaned out where the needle jet goes. It's pretty clean in there. Well, uh, the float back in. Put the pin in. There we go. Let's make sure it's doing its thing. It is oh, a little smudge. Okay, we'll put the bowl back on. It doesn't have an orientation because there's no drain on it. It's a 10 millimeter, if I haven't mentioned it. And then we need to put that screw back in. Whatever the heck I did with that. So my guess looking at this uh, auto choke here is it has a heat sensor here, gasket, carb, and it kind of moves like a so. So probably as that sensor, sorry, as that sensor gets warm it pushes this arm out and opens the choke. Will it work? I don't know, I've heard these things go bad. So, it's something to look forward to, huh? Of course we didn't even try to start this because of the rain and all. But, um, here's a plug which, which looks pretty much like everything else in this machine. Crappy. <sighs> Let's see if we even got spark. Of course, this is hard to see because you can't pull a cord and be able to see it. Although I'm going to try to pull it from here. I'm not seeing any spark. The guy's got it rigged so that the uh, handle is down. Yeah. Yeah, I see no spark. That's really bad. Oh, it wasn't plugged all the way in. <laughs> I still don't see any spark. Well, it's kind of dark here, but there's a zip tie over the handle. That's why I'm able to pull it like that. But there's no spark. <clears throat> Should try a different plug, I think. Okay, I just got another plug in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a faint spark with this. So maybe this plug is just so dirty. We'll clean it up and see how it works. Oh, look at that. That's just cleaning a spark plug, baby. Yeah, I love it. So who knows, I might have just found the problem just there with the spark and that the carburetor was fine but you know it just certainly doesn't hurt to clean it as long as you don't wreck anything yeah this is basically it you got a gasket there you got little holes here to line up there's nothing tricky about this with the choke uh, we do have another gasket we got to put on this side there is a hole there there's a hole here and then you got to get the plastic outer casing, put that on, and get these bolts through, you know, holding it all together like a sandwich. But the sandwich doesn't want to stay together. So, um, my guess is I'm going to be like this when I do it, so you're not going to be able to see it anyway. But um, it's not fun to do. Okay, we got the gas line on and the linkage. 
I think maybe the linkage is supposed to go through the spring. I'm going to fix that. Yeah, I think that's more like it. <clears throat> well, this rod is a little bent. If that affects anything, maybe the uh, speed or something, but, you know, things can always be bent. Well, I'd love to show you this, but um, it's kind of hard to fidget things around with hoses hitched up and stuff. But as the throttle turns, it interacts with the choke. And of course, this thing is wide open like this. So, that interaction with the choke mechanism. Well, I guess they don't understand this. <laughs> okay, I think I got it right. If you can see in there, you can kind of see that the choke is closed, which it should be when it's cold. Will it open? I hope so. Um... Everything seems free, returns okay.